God, I wish you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 72, Saiyans and Cerulean's. First off, I gotta say I absolutely love this chapter, okay? Because we finally get the fight between Granola and Goku and Vegeta, which we thought was probably gonna take a little bit longer. But I feel like this is just the first fight, and like obviously the, they fight the the, the villains uh, multiple times. And in this time, we know they finally get to the planet uh, uh planet Syria. And uh Oa and Maki are pretty much like, yo, pretty sure he's over there somewhere. Goku and Vegeta fly over there. But even before that, this is one of the most interesting parts of the entire story because I feel like as, even though it's a lot of action, I felt like there were just like certain little story beats and certain little clues and information that we get uh, that like kind of like you start to question because she tells or Mikey tells Or to go over there and watch the fight and like report and everything. And she's like, cool, because she's waiting on the arrival of Gas and Alec. Now, here's like some dialogue we get from Alec. I haven't been back here for 40 years. We know that's around the time the planet was taken over by like Bardock and like the Sands, and then that's when uh, Lignum came in, came in and like sold it. We also know Vegeta was alive during this time, all right? Uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, quotes though is from Gaz. He says, "My memories of this planet are not particularly good ones." And Alexa, it's it, it's fine, Gaz. You changed a lot since then. It it won't be like the last time. So automatically you're thinking, what happened the first time he was on this planet? Was Gas a part of this? Was like was Gas on Planet Serial when the Sands hit? Did Gas like also suffer or something? Uh, did Gas get taken in by took in by some Cerulean's and and later on like you know have to he also should possibly have a some uh, a pass with the Sands or like what? Happened to him because we know Gaz is probably what well, is the strongest out of uh, all the heaters. So he has to have some kind of like connection to it. And it, it's kind of weird that we don't know exactly what it is. Now, this would now the now the market gets interesting because we still have Goku and Vegeta flying. They start getting key basses sitting at them. They can't sense where the key bass is, uh, uh, where the person is who sent them. They just can tell the direction in which they're coming from. They're dodging them. Goku's using Ultra Instinct to dodge. Vegeta's had to go Super Saiyan in order to dodge these because they were so accurate and they were directed at these uh, their vital points. That's how good it was. Even with Ultra Instinct, Goku still managed to get hit in the back of the neck and knocked out. Knocked out. To the point, Vegeta had to give him a sensu beam. This is what, uh, if you've seen my reaction on, you, uh, uh, on TikTok, you know this is where I kind of like lost. I'm like, what? Wait a minute. This is crazy. There's like, there's no way. Already using the sensu beam, and they only brought two. And so, like, the, the attacks are steady coming. They going after Alec. Vegeta tells Goku, hey, if you're not fully mastered Ultra Instinct in like your base, like stop using it. Just dodge, okay? Goku's like, yeah, you're right. So that lets us know Goku's has fully completed his training with our uh, Ultra Instinct yet, okay? He still has a way to go. Which which is fine, you know what I'm saying? But uh they continue to dodge. Goku ends up attacking to go Super Saiyan. He attacks where Granola is. Granola moves and appears behind Goku. This attack, this this is what Goku and Vegeta said. Instant teleportation? No. It's even faster than that. How is he faster than instant? He's broken, y'all. He's broke like he's He's a, like then he starts talking to him. He attacks both of them with some uh, some attack. And Vegeta's one like, yo, you hold a grudge against Saiyan. Like Vegeta, this whole episode, I mean this whole chapter was just kind of like, there's something. Like I, Vegeta got like, got like that sense, like, eh, there's something about this dude. You know what I'm saying? It's just not necessarily seeming right. You know what I mean? And so 
Him and Goku end up dodging a, a, a monstrous attack from Granola that is similar to Hakai. Like, Vegeta's a little bit like, he's kind of like, this is ridiculous. Like, what can what can't this guy do? Like, and then they continue, and, and Goku's like, hey, Vegeta, should we attack him together? Vegeta says, don't be absurd. I'm not, don't be absurd. I'm not in the mood for teamwork today. Which I'm like, I understood it. But another inter inter interesting thing that happened was Vegeta was like, yeah, you go ahead, Kakarot. I'm going to lay back and chill. Because I feel like Vegeta either knows something about Granola or he just kind of wants to do what Goku does a lot and watch the person fight, somebody else fight the person first, and then he go in and beat him. Okay, so I feel like Vegeta's like, nah, I usually always be the, I always used to be the guinea pig. Today you're the guinea pig. And so they 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 start fighting, and Goku knows he's not strong enough. Granola's super confident. Vegeta knows something's up. And uh, Granola also, like, tells him, like, yo, you're holding back. If you hold him back and I kill you before that, like, don't blame. I have no reason to, like, spare you or, or something along those lines. And he said, uh, Goku ends up powering up the Super Saiyan God. He said, Granola, first golden hair, now red. I thought all Saiyans had black hair. The thanks to our training, we uh, uh this is called Super Saiyan God. I was like, okay. God a bold claim, a name that's at odds with the savage nature of your kind. So obviously you've had one bad you had a bad experience with a certain group of people. That's the only thing you see them as, okay? That and that's where things get even a little bit more complicated because Goku and Granola start to fight. And Goku's using Ultra Instinct. Well, at first he wasn't. Then he starts, he calms down and he started using it during the fight. And it, it's just, you looking at it and you just like, you can't wait to see certain stuff get animated because the, Goku's dodging, it just, it's just so smooth. And Vegeta uh, even says, it becomes more accurate when used in conjunction with a Super Saiyan form. So Goku uses Ultra Instinct. And it's good, but it gets better as he progressively gets stronger. So it's like, okay, cool. It's like a technique, but the technique also get better because the, the you get a character. I mean, you just, everything is boosted, obviously, when you use a, a, a power-up. Granola uses some unique attacks. When Granola uses, I call it the 10 rings. I call it, I call it the 10 rings attack, which looks awesome, by the way. Just the art. Tortara is killed with the art. And Goku, but Goku dodging also looks amazing. Even after all of that, Goku using Ultra Instinct to dodge, Granola still manages to land another vital blow on Goku and knock him out of Super Saiyan God. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm reading the chapter, I'm losing my damn mind. Goku falls to the ground, but Jesus, like, wait a minute. What? Like, how, like Granola seems to not even be going all out skill. Like he's doing this calm as he as he wanna be. And like he he told like this is where we get the uniqueness of um Granola's eye. Um he told uh Goku, what did he say? Uh you're still concealing your power. Say you're right, I've got an even stronger transformation. Hurry up and get on with it. I have no duty to wait for your sake. As long as the other stand is still alive, I can extract Freeze's location from him. Because they, obviously he wants Freeze's location because that's the person he wants to get back at it the most. And Goku obviously do. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm kind of lost on that. But even before this, we were talking about uh, uh, Granola's eye. He said, however, uh, hold on. He, he said, oh, give me a second. He says, I can tell your body moves on its own before... Your brain even processes incoming. Granola knows Goku's using Ultra. He doesn't know what it's called, but he knows that Goku's moving faster than his brain is processing. Just from like the, like, I don't know what kind of eye Granola got or the Cerulean's have, but apparently it's like an ultimate hack, okay? 
because at a certain level, at a certain amount of strength, if they can predict stuff like this, and if, uh, if they was able to, like, bro, it's crazy. He even said, uh, as you dodge, I observed your blood flow and muscle movements, and I learned exactly where to strike. Bro, I'm loving the hacks. Oh, uh, 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 my bad. I, I'm loving the hacks. Uh, Toriyama and Toriyama are giving these characters, these new characters. One with magic, one with this super eye and like pinpoint accuracy. I, like it's crazy. Now he said this right out of mine is the sharpest in the universe. It sees all. So I'm kind of wondering, like, what can Granola do? Cause right now he's shining, like. Abundantly, okay. And then, but then we have another moment with Vegeta. A try, a tribe driven to extinction, known for their evolved right eyes. This is starting to sound familiar. So, if we know Vegeta was around at the time, so we don't know at what point was Vegeta involved, or did, did Vegeta parents tell? I mean, dad tell him about it. Like what? Like what? You know what I'm saying? And Vegeta looks over at the ruins and says, could it be? It seems like Vegeta had maybe has possibly been here before. That would be crazy if Vegeta was on mission with Bardock. Or something along those lines, bro. Uh, and, uh, bro. He's still able to, to sense more of Goku's key. And like he's getting so frustrated because like he, he just really perceives all Saiyans to be, you know, like the Frieza's minions, okay? And so he's getting pissed off. He's mad at Goku. And, and, and he's like, yo, shut up saying you'll pay for your crimes against the Cerulean's. Goku's still at a loss. And and Granola power up, powers up in his life. Okay, now it's getting real. Now, now it's getting real. He said, as I mentioned, I'm the strongest warrior in the universe. Superior to your people in every single way. And I love this part of Goku. This is one of the things I actually, do, I actually love, love about Goku. Talk about confident. But I've trained a lot recently. So you can't claim that title so easily. Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue. It is just, you get just like a, a shot of both characters and then the fight obviously begins. The people, the Shigarians are, are worried like what's going on. But the best moment is when we get to the end. I thought there was too much. I remember I was watching, I was reading on TikTok and I got to the end and it was like, yes, I see. It's making all sense now. I think I know who he is. Vegeta's standing on a great ape footprint. Good. Like, this is so good, bro. Like, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier with this chapter. Chapter. Like, we get some stuff from Vegeta that we probably gonna be un uh, uh, un unveiled next episode. I mean, next chapter. I don't know why I keep saying episode. We get Goku versus Granola, and Granola is definitely a worthy of on it because he steps ahead of them and like you have we got the, the history of the gas and we still haven't even seen what freeze has been up to for all we know freeze has been training ever since he got washed by Brolin just because he know he needs to get stronger because this granola if freeze hasn't been training this granola beats freeze i'm sorry i i'm just so happy we get stuff like this from dragon ball cannot wait to see with uh, what else happens, I'm, I promise you, I will have some more vids going in details and having some theories and prediction vids on here and on TikTok. So follow me on uh, on TikTok if you haven't already, so we can discuss a lot of the other theories I'm going to have. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna post some of those videos on YouTube. Like the, I, I might post like my theory thoughts or whatever, just like the one minute thoughts, of course, on TikTok, and I give you a full video explanation on here. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout, man. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the chapter down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.